Viola Davis is an American actress and producer, best known for her roles in both film and television. She has won numerous awards and accolades, including an Academy Award, two Tony Awards, and five Primetime Emmy Awards. She is considered one of the most talented and versatile actresses of her generation, and has established herself as a powerful force in Hollywood. Davis has starred in a wide range of films, including Doubt, Get On Up, and Fences, and has appeared in popular television shows such as How to Get Away with Murder. In addition to her acting career, she is also an activist and advocate for various social and political causes. Early Life and Education Davis was born in St. Matthews, South Carolina, on August 11, 1965, to May Alice Davis and Dan Davis. She was born on her grandmother's property at the Singleton Plantation. Her father trained horses, while her mother worked as a maid, factory worker, and housewife. She is the second youngest of six siblings, four sisters and one brother. Her parents relocated Davis and two of her elder siblings to Central Falls, Rhode Island, shortly after her birth, leaving her other siblings with her grandparents. During the Civil Rights Movement, her mother was also an activist. Davis was arrested at a civil rights rally when she was two years old, and she was taken to jail alongside her mother. She has characterized her youth as living in terrible poverty and disorder, recalling living in rat-infested and condemned flats. Davis is a second cousin of actor Mike Coulter, known for portraying the Marvel Comics character Luke Cage. Davis attended Central Falls High School, which she credits in part for her interest in the arts and her passion of theatrical performing. She participated in the government TRO Upward Bound and TRIO Student Support Services programs as a teenager. Davis's skill was spotted by Bernard Masterson, a director of the Young People's School for the Performing Arts in West Warwick, Rhode Island. Davis attended Rhode Island College after high school, focusing in drama and participated in the National Student Exchange before graduating in 1988. She then spent four years at the Juilliard School, where she was a member of the Drama Division, Group 22. 1989-93 Personal Life Davis married actor Julius Tennant in June 2003. In 2011, thereafter the couple adopted an infant daughter known Genesis. Davis is also a stepmother to Tennant's two children from his previous relationships. Davis and her husband, Julius Tennant, are co-founders of a production company, Juvie Productions. Davis is also widely recognized for her advocacy and support of human rights and equal rights for women and women of color. She received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2017 and became an L'Oreal Paris ambassador in 2019. The audiobook narration of her 2022 memoir Finding Me earned Viola Davis a Grammy Award in 2023. Career In 1992, Viola Davis starred in her first professional stage role, an off-Broadway production of William Shakespeare's comedy As You Like It as Dennis alongside Elizabeth McGovern at the Delacorte Theatre. In 1996, Davis made her Broadway debut in the original Broadway production of August Wilson's Seven Guitars as the Vera, alongside Keith David. She earned critical praise for her performance. That same year, Davis received her Screen Actors Guild card in 1996 for doing one day of work, playing a nurse who passes a vial of blood to future How to Get Away with Murder co-star Timothy Hutton in the film. Davis continued acting off-Broadway in various productions, and appeared in bit parts on television including episodes of NYPD Blue, 1996, and New York Undercover, 1996. She also appeared in the HBO television military comedy film, The Pentagon Wars, 1996, starring Kelsey Grammer and Carrie Elwes. In 1998, she played a small role in Steven Soderbergh's crime comedy film Out of Sight, 1999. Film Breakthrough In 2001, she returned to the Broadway stage in another play by August Wilson titled King Headley II, she portrayed Tanya, 
35-year-old mother fighting eloquently for the right to abort a pregnancy. Her performance earned her critical attention, and she received her first Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a Play and a Drama Desk Award. She won another Drama Desk Award for her work in a 2004 off-Broadway production of Intimate Apparel by Lynn Nottage. Throughout the early 2000s Davis appeared in numerous films, including Soderbergh's Solaris in Traffic, as well as George Clooney's Syriana, 2005, which Soderbergh produced. In 2008, Davis played Mrs. Miller in the film adaptation of the Broadway play by John Patrick Shanley, Doubt, with Meryl Streep, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and Amy Adams. Though Viola Davis had only one scene in the film, she remained a highlight of the film with noted film critic Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times specifically praising her performance writing. On June 30, 2009, Viola Davis was inducted into the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. In 2010, Davis returned to Broadway in her third August Wilson play, this time a revival of Fences as Rose Maxson, acting alongside Denzel Washington. In 2010 Davis had small roles in the romantic comedy thriller Night and Day starring Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz and the romantic comedy Eat Pray Love starring Julia Roberts. In August 2011, Davis starred as Abilene Clark, a housemaid in 1960s Mississippi, in the film adaptation of Catherine Stockett's novel The Help, directed by Tate Taylor and co-starring alongside Emma Stone, Octavia Spencer, Bryce Dallas Howard, and Jessica Chastain. In 2012, Time magazine listed Viola Davis as one of the most influential persons in the world. Also in 2012, Glamour magazine named Davis Glamour's Film Actress of the Year. On June 12, 2012, Davis received the Women in Film's Crystal Award. In February 2014, Davis was cast in Norwalk's pilot How to Get Away with Murder, executive produced by Shonda Rhimes for her Shondaland production company, as the lead character. In 2015, Davis appeared in Black Hat, a Michael Mann-directed thriller film starring Chris Hemsworth. Davis also served as executive producer of the crime drama film Lila and Eve, starring herself and Jennifer Lopez in the titular roles. In 2016, Davis reprised her role as Rose Maxson for the film adaptation of Fences directed by and starring Denzel Washington. In 2017, Davis was presented with the 2597th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame by her Doubt co-star and friend Meryl Streep. While accepting the honor. In 2018, Davis debuted Two Sides, a documentary series exploring police brutality towards the African American community. In 2020, Davis served as an executive producer and appeared in the documentary film Giving Voice, following students entering the August Wilson monologue competition for a chance to compete on Broadway. In 2021, Davis reprised her role as Amanda Waller in the superhero film The Suicide Squad. Also in 2021, she appeared alongside Sandra Bullock in the drama film The Unforgivable, directed by Nora Fingscheidt. Philanthropy and Activism In 2011, Viola Davis donated funds to her hometown public library in Central Falls, Rhode Island, to assist in preventing its closure due to a lack of city funding. In 2018, Davis donated funds to her alma mater, Central Falls High School, for its theater program. Since 2014, she has collaborated with the Hunger Is campaign to help eradicate childhood hunger across America. As part of her partnership with Vaseline to promote the Vaseline Healing Project, Davis attended the groundbreaking of a free community health center in Central Falls, Rhode Island in October 2016 that was sponsored by the project. The project provides dermatological care to help heal the skin of those affected by poverty around the world. She was also a speaker at the 2018 Women's March event in Los Angeles. Net Worth Davis purchased a $5.7 million for a magnificent mansion near Toluca Lake in 2016. The magnificent, two-story home boasts 7,500 square feet of living area and numerous modern comforts. 
A 600 bottle wine cellar is accessible through a glass door in the formal dining room. The property has a private theater with a 4K projector, in line with Viola's career. There are fountains, a pool, a built-in barbecue, and a fireplace in the outside area. This property is completed by a three-car garage. Viola Davis sold her Los Angeles home she previously owned for $1.15 million in 2017. The property has five bedrooms and five bathrooms and is located in the San Fernando Valley suburb of Granada Hills. Car Collection She owns Audi A8, Mercedes-Benz GL Class and an Audi Q7. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video kindly share with your friends. Subscribe like and comment.